Yeah. Hello again. Um, right, let's turn Gardner's question time down. Um, we're going to be sowing some broad beans to overwinter um, in pots. Now you can use anything you like. Pots, toilet roll tubes. Um, what I like to do is to use containers or orange juice containers. I just cut them like so. So if you haven't got any, now you can sow these beans any time between now and the spring. Um, the reason why I like to do them now is if they overwinter, get them and the harvest your beans before the black fly get to them. Okay, so so there, there we go. We don't want all those for the minute, do we? Let's move them out of the way. Right, so we're going to fill these up, these cut ones up, with potting compost. It's just anything really from the from your local garden centre, like so. Um, you don't need to fill them right to the top. It, the whole thing depends on how long you're going to leave them in these pots. Um, they need to go out really as soon as they're big enough. The only reason why the slugs, the slugs will attack them as well and we don't want that. So basically that's what we're doing. There we go. Then the beans. Now it doesn't matter which way up these beans go. Right, let's show you what they like. There we go. So they're just like an ordinary broad bean that's dry. I know you experts and know what I'm talking about, but I'm doing this for for um, for youngsters that have asked me to um, to show them how to do it. Right. It doesn't matter which way up they go. When the bean comes out, when the root comes out, it knows which way it's going, and so does the thing. So you put them in any way you like. Just push them in. It's just sprouting. Look. See how it comes out, and it knows which way to go. So it really doesn't matter which, how you put the bean in. So you put them in any way you like. Just push them in, like so. Let me show you what I'm doing. Let me show you a, a more of a close up. There, like that. I like to put them in that way round. But it doesn't. It it really doesn't matter. So like that, in they go. I'm going to put more soil on the top of those. So we'll just do these few for now. And that's one for each because I want them to develop a good root system and be about this tall before I put them out. Same with that the pots. And if you've got these things, these these I can't remember what comes in these, but. They're all things that you've used, um, that you've bought stuff from, from your supermarket um, and we're just upcycling it really. Then we put another inch of soil on the top. Um, and then if you've got a piece of wood you can just just give it just a gentle tap down. You haven't got to do this, you, you haven't got to tap it down, just leave it like it is if you want, but um, it's just the way I all, I've always done it and I always will do it. There we go, that'll do. And then, water. Now the first watering, this one, that can be quite a heavy watering. But then after that, the moment they start to show, you gently water them. In other words, you don't put quite so much in because what we don't want them to do is to damp off. But to start with, they need to swell. And there you go. Right, let's go and have a look now at them at their next stage. But let's say bye bye to Rudolph first. So, um, that is three weeks they're looking actually they're looking a little bit leggy and that's probably because they're here in this conservatory 
um, and they're low down on the bucket. That's be I put them on that bucket because um, during the week we had some frost um, and the bucket obviously retains a little bit of heat. But they're ready to go into the soil now. Right, so we're going to dig a hole. So where you're going to put them. I'm going to put these about nine inches apart. You can put them as close as six inches apart. And I'm going to go about nine inches apart. Like so. That's one, two, three, four across there. And let's see. What we got? There, and then we can see the roots. And we'll keep that. Oh, here we go. And we're just going to tease them roots out. Okay. And then I'll do this one here where you can see it. Drop them roots as low as I can get them. There we go. And tuck them. There we go. And I'm going to put it in very slightly deeper than it is in the in the in the container. So we go again. You haven't got to spill it out like this, but it's just the fact that it's easy to do it like that, so you can see you can see the roots. Let's bring that one out. There we go. Look at that. And then tease the roots down. Get them right the way down, nice and deep. In she goes. And tuck it in. There we go. And another one. Yeah, look at that. And as you can see, I've tucked that one in. I'll put that in just a slightly deeper. Okay, there we go. So, there we go all ready to go now that I need some support put the rain those ones I've just put in um, and something just to keep the birdies off which would be now let's go and have a look at some that we've planted um, well they are actually volunteer ones which are volunteer ones are ones that have grown um, all on their own from beans that got dropped last year and there they are there look and they've been I've, what I've done is I've dug them up and transplanted them and they've got flowers on and it's remotely possible I get beans on them but um, they're very hardy, and we'll see.